Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. So here is the motherfucker that talked to us in the cave. Check one, two, what it do, it's your boy, the young Montana, and welcome back to Pokemon Rejuvenation. In the last episode, we looked at some videos of Malia, and it's not what you think. She's not a cam girl. In this episode, we're going to continue with our story in Sheridan Village. So a lady has asked us to help her find her husband or her boyfriend. He's trapped in a cave or something, so let's check that out. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, I finally found it. It's a basket that seems to be filled with a brim, the brim of plants. Could it belong to... Yeah, someone help me, please! Sure. What the fuck? Oh shit. What is going on? Please don't hurt me. It was an accident, I swear. Soul, soul. Hello? Oh, there, there they are. Did you come to save me? Then please do something with that Pokemon. Okay, we have to battle Sorok. All right. Please don't hurt me. I said I was sorry. I didn't mean to do it. So, so. So? Are you here to save me? Please capture that thing for me. I've knocked it so many times at this point, but it keeps getting right back up. Please help. Oh, shit. Oh, so you can actually catch this thing. Okay. It's like a wild Pokemon. All right, then. All right, we caught it. All right. Let's see, what should give Soul Rock's name? It's a Sun Rock kind of thingy. Let's call it Apollo. Yay, we got Soul Rock. Phew, that was a nightmare. Thank you for saving me. My name is Marcus. What are you doing in Amethyst Cave? Huh? Oh, my girlfriend sent you? Oh, that's right. I was supposed to be picking up roots you can only find underneath the ground here in Amethyst Cave. See, that's the kind that's kind of where the problems arose. I was picking some of the roots out of the ground and unfortunately it looked like one of them was wrapped around a soul rock. I think I hurt soul rock by yanking it out of the ground like that. But you captured it out and I'm sure you'll take good care of it. I suppose I'll go back home now. Back home then. Come around the house later. Okay, so I found out what we're actually supposed to do next. So, you're supposed to go into Sheridan Arena and head all the way up. All the way up, and then you have to battle a Swablu. So let's just do that real quick. And come on, Swablu. The fuck? Hello? What the fuck? There you go. You have to talk to it and catch it and battle it. And let's just straight up bite it. Alright. And then you have to talk to the door again. Oh wait, what the hell? Oh, there we go. And now it... You have to battle Swab Blue and then come back and it triggers this cutscene. Ma'am, would you please send extra sheets to my room? It gets quite chilly at night and these frail old bones can't take it. Yes, Miss Apple, I'll bring you some before bedtime, okay? Thank you, darling, such a delightful child. The sense must be proud to have people like you here in Sheridan. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh gosh, I just realized I never asked for your name back there. Ah, oh, Jace, what a lovely name. Did you have any luck with the sensei? Uh, I see, I expected as much. I'm sorry about that. He's been neglecting his duties as of late. It's hard for him to open up to people. But I still believe in him. I won't stop believing in him. Listen, Jace, do you mind helping me with something? I'll be upstairs. Everything will be explained then. Okay, so we're supposed to go upstairs right now. You actually showed up. Come on, count on me, Alita. Thank you so much for visiting me in my room. Oh. Okay, so are we alone here, or what? <laughs> I don't spend much time here, so there's not much, but... Hey, Lido, What did you want to speak to me about? Oh, I see. What, Elita? I thought you were supposed to... Never mind. I'm in dir dirty thoughts with Elita. Oh, I see. Please excuse me. I don't think we've introduced ourselves back when. Damn it, this eldest... It's cock-blocking so hard right now. Me and Elita was about to get it on with the stuffed animal, and... Yeah. <laughs> I'm the eldest of the village. I'm also the sensei's advisor. It's a pleasure to meet you, Jace. Oh, you already knew Jace's name? I thought you said you haven't introduced yourself. Uh, well, I heard you calling their name when I was outside. If it matters not, what did you need? Oh, yeah, I wanted to explain Jace about our situation. Jace came to participate in the gym challenge, but yeah. Ah, say no more, Jace. First and foremost, 
I want to apologize for Keta's behavior. Keta is our sensei. He's been for over 10 years now. But in the past year or so, something has happened to him. Suddenly, he came home after a long trip with a face as white as snow. Jesus. Ever since, he secluded himself within his house. Okay, so something happened to Keta. And he went from a normal person to a recluse because of what happened. Maybe he really saw a real ghost or something. Which brings me to why I asked you here. For the last couple of weeks, I tried to confront Sensei on my own, but each time ended in failure of my dismissal. Please, Jace, would you help me confront Sensei? Huh? I've been trying to get through to him for months now, but if Jace is there with me, I have something to back me up. Besides, it'll work out for Jace too. I can get Sensei to come out to his senses. Jace can get the battle they came here for. What do you say, Jace? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I ain't battling some recluse. I don't even... He's a sensei. He must be really strong. Okay, there are relationships at this point, even though I really want to say why me. But I was, I'll be confident and say I will. All right. Just for the relationship points. All right. She likes us. Perfect. We're confident alpha male. Yeah. Really? You will? I knew you'd say yes. If you're the one to help me, I know this can't fail. But why Jace? What about Jace has led you to this? Whoa, the eldest certainly does not trust me. What the hell? It's hard to explain, but something deep inside me, inside my mind is telling me I can trust him. I, it's a little weird, but somehow I feel like we're bound by fate. <laughs> oh, another girl has a crush on me. Great. <laughs> Sorry if you're strange to hear Jace, but maybe it's my intuition speaking. Ah, well, I have no qualms with your intuition. <laughs> In that case, it'd be better if you did this tomorrow. Please feel free to stay the night here, Jace. From now, free of charge. Oh, really? I paid 400 bucks for nothing earlier. Yes, Jace, thank you so much. We'll meet outside by the bonfire tomorrow. Until then, we should get some rest. See you tomorrow, Jace. Welcome to the Cherry Blossom Inn. Would you like to stay the night? Sure. Okay, finally we can heal. Cutscene the next day. Okay, so they say to meet outside a bonfire, so let's go do that, and cutscene. Jace, I hope the inn was to your liking. The eldest and I work hard to make sure it's comfortable for all, all of our guests. Well, it's kind of... small. Anyway, we should make our way to Sensei's house as soon as possible. I'll meet you in front of his house. This is it. I've done this many times before, but it's always so uncomfortable. Right, let's try this out. Sensei? It's me, Elita. Please let me in. Ellipses. Whoa. What happened to the door? Oh, it opened. Okay. Just stay calm. We got this. All right, let's go. Elita, what is it now? I told you not to come near this house. I know, but... I don't remember inviting you into my house. It must be customary for trainers to waltz into people's house unannounced. But this is crossing a line. We're worried about you, you fucker. It's okay, Sensei. I brought Jace here. And why exactly did you invite him here? <sighs> I... No. We came here because we're concerned about you. You've been stuck in this place for months. You haven't left or spoken to anyone. The people in this village are starting to believe that you've, you're abandoning them. Seems like he has some real mental health crisis, man. No one said anything outright, but we fear that people will leave soon. That would probably be best anyway. There's no future here. Talk about being a pessimist. Sensei, how could you? It's all a hopeless endeavor. There's no point in any of this. But I just want to know why. Why won't you talk to us? Why won't you just give us a chance? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? I just don't know what to do. What's the right answer here? Wait, who's he talking to? A silhouette? Is it Mardellus? The people of Sheridan are here because they trust you. Even in times when things seem grim, you must give them a chance to prove that to you. There are plenty of pure souls out there. You must... You just have to find them. Who is he talking to? Jace, please meet me in my garden. I wish to speak to you. Okay, Alita, if you give us a moment. But I'm giving you a chance. Take it. I understand. Hello? Is the sensei sending you off somewhere? This is also strange. What's the point of this? Okay. Boy, here we go. Well, that's a small garden. The heck? And some polywax statues. Talia. I try so hard to smile, but that's just impossible. Is that his wife's grave? 
What was her name again? Malia? You know it's Malia? Have I confused you? Perhaps you'll recognize me in this state. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. So here is the motherfucker that talked to us in the cave. You've come all this way just to bother a man already in his pit of despair. You either a despicable child or clueless. Either way, I promised Alita that I would give her at least a chance. That's something we all want, don't we? Malia, it seems like her life was left up to that very chance. I bet your friend said something like, if I were only stronger. It's all bullshit. There's nothing that could have been done in that cave. Fates is already written. But perhaps... So we see, we're see we seeing a pattern here. So always go for the confident answer for the relationship point. So I'm just going to say I am. Huh, very good. In that case, listen closely. Do you remember where we met in Amethyst Cave or by that bridge? Just west of that bridge is a rock with a pendant attached to it. Touch a stone. If something happens, proceed. The way to Amethyst Grotto will open and within this place, the soul stone lies. Retrieve the stone and we'll see. And also, you are to do this alone. Leave Elita out of it. Is the sensei sending you off somewhere? This is all so strange. What's the point of all this? Yeah, I want to know. Okay, so we're supposed to look for a soul stone. Okay, so we're back into cave entrance. So let's see, where is the soul stone? Okay, I believe this is the stone. So let's talk to it. This is a stone Keta mentioned. Interact with the stone? Of course. I touched a stone. Oh. Oh. Okay. A hole appeared. A secret passage just opened up. Let's go in. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I just climbed down like freaking Mario there. Oh, a cutscene. Welcome. Please come forward. Hello? Oh, whoa, what is this? Oh, look like a face at first. You see that? Looks like a smiling face. Ah, oh, so you made it to this place, I must say. I'm surprised by this. What the fuck? Whoa. Keta? For you to be here means that you have a pure heart. Yes, I do. I have a pure heart and a dirty mind. <laughs> Astounding. It looks like Talia was right after all. Who's Talia? Is, is that his dead wife? Right, I suppose this would be a confusing situation for anyone. Is he dead too? What the hell? We, a Keta, or rather a piece of him. Oh no, what is this? We are part of Keta's soul that he has severed. Our emotions, our humanity. I am the manifestation of him. However, although he has sealed me away, it is clear my influence has not left him. This is because although we're separate, we're still one and the same. It's not possible to remove you your humanity it will always find a way oh what should i ask um what is this place well i know what this place is it's like a grotto why are you here why do you separate we suffered a great loss years ago and because of that we suffered a f massive amount of mental physical and emotional pain so you actually split in like halves we wanted to separate ourselves from that pain and from the help of a friend our humanity has been lost. Even though he threw me away, I did not disappear. I could be disconnected, but not destroyed. As a result, I was banished to this land. I'm so confused. What? But like I mentioned previously, we are connected even still. Therefore, I know why you're here. What is that? Oh, that's a soul stone. Okay, don't mind if I do. There's so much I want to say, but I feel faint. I suppose there's only so much I can do in this realm. So he's Keta from another dimension or something? Or another timeline? Jace, I wish you luck. Show us your pure hearts. Bring Keta his, his humanity back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello? You, Jace, you were able to enter the grotto? Jace, come with me for a moment. There's something I wish to try. Okay, better not be anything creepy. Because I'll scream. This is a spot, correct? Oh, that's where Malia is. Let us see. There's no response at all. Is she, is she still alive? I'm pretty sure she's alive, right? Fate favors the fool. Incredible. It does seem Malia truly is gone. What? She's dead? No way. Jace, I must admit... I'm taken back by all of this. You've passed my test. 
I've given you a chance and you've taken it. I have a request for you too, Jace. You've come all the way to Sheridan to battle me, is that right? Please, I wish to challenge you to meet me at my arena in Sheridan. I'll be a little late, I have something to do first. What are you going to do first? Alright, we're back in Sheridan Village, and that's it for today's episode. There's so much mystery going on, and in the next episode, we'll try to get all of that sorted out and battle Sensei Keta. Hopefully, we'll find our answers. So, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.